YouTube, what's up? This is Tom from Gaming Engineers, and today I'll be reviewing my favorite Twitter applications for the iPad. Today I'll be reviewing two Twitter applications, and they will be TweetDeck and Twitterific. These are both free applications, but Twitterific has a $4.99 optional upgrade, which will eliminate all ads from the application. Let's start with TweetDeck, which has to be my favorite Twitter application for the iPad. I think it just runs so well on the iPad, and it looks very nice, and the customization is great on this. Well, it doesn't look as good on the Mac and PC just because it's so big, but I think it runs perfect on here. So this is what the application looks like in portrait mode. You have all your tweets right here, favorites, direct messages, and I'll get into customization in a second. So what I like about portrait mode is so much is when you select a tweet, it has the tweet up at the top, and you've got some several options like reply, retweet, direct message to the person, email this off, favorite, and you've got their information up top, and it just looks really well. I do like it a lot. When you go into landscape, you do not get as much features, but you get a lot more information. So here you get the same options, but you don't get to see the tweet as big as you did in portrait. Up here you've got some options. You have account settings. You can refresh the application. It'll refresh all your tweets to catch more. If there are any more since last time you refreshed. Here you have, uh, you can add more columns and add a different type like Twitter search, favorites, at replies to you, or mentions, whatever you want to call it. And you can add more accounts if you've got another account. And I'll get into that in a second. Here you can compose a new tweet, which brings up this kind of notepad style and your keyboard. You can add hashtags. You can add an at reply. So like you click this and it receives all of your people you're following and you can add reply people. Showing URLs in the tweet, add a picture, and geotag. So let's get into customization for a second. Basically, what the column thing was, was you get all of these different columns, like you have all your t the tweets from the people you're following, favorites, and direct messages to you. But you can also add things like at replies to you, and you can also, let me bring back that, hold down, you can organize which way these are on the application, which looks very nice. I do like the customization. It's very nice in this application. And that's what I like so much about it. So, yeah. And that's really about it for this application. Now we're going to go to the next application and final, which is Twitterific. Twitterific is also a great application, but it's, it's a lot more basic. So this is what it looks like in portrait mode. You just have all of the tweets from the people that you're following. And the reason why there's a 4.9 upgrade is because there are ads at the top. That's the only ad you're ever going to get is one ad. So I don't think it's really much of a good upgrade. It's not really worth five dollars. So, you know, you can if you really want to. So you select a tweet. You can reply to the person, which they call author. Translate it if it's a different language, I guess. And email it to someone. You can also at reply the person and favorite it. Up here you can refresh to see if there's more tweets. You can look at your profile, like recent tweets, people you're following. And up here you can compose. It doesn't look as cool, but you know, it works. Here you can add a picture, and you can shorten links or clear all the text if you just wanna un you wanna redo it. And yeah. So in landscape you get all of these options. You get all tweets, mentions, favorites, messages, lists you're on, trends. And you get this all on the side. So it's pretty basic. And that's about it for Twitterific as well. So that was about it for my review of these two Twitter applications. Hope you enjoyed, and I expect to have more t application reviews in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.